Hello everyone, welcome to They Breathe. This game came out a while ago, and I was really impressed with how elegantly and cleverly designed it was, and it's just been released on Steam, so I figure now is a pretty good time to explain why I like it so much. So let's go ahead and jump into the water here. In this game, you play as a frog descending into a flooded forest. And as you go down, you have to face ever deadlier and ever stranger creatures. The controls are incredibly simple. There's just the movement keys, and then the go faster key, and that is it. That's all there is to it. No HUD, nothing like that. So it just lets you loose like this, with basically no tutorial whatsoever. It just tells you how to move, and that's it. It's up to you to figure out what to do, which is really cool. It's also a very short game, by the way. It's about a half hour long, which makes it kind of awkward to be playing this because it's because it's all about figuring things out for yourself, and because it's so short, I really want to avoid spoiling too much. So I'm actually going to specifically avoid making progress. So my little froggy friends here could use some air. They might die, though, because I'm going to be talking. Too busy talking to really try to save them. I keep pushing you. Get into the air. Come on, you can do it. Anyway, so back to what I was saying about how elegant and how cleverly designed it was. So, as you descend, you have to... Oh, I saved one. Cool. As you descend down, you really have to observe the creatures that you encounter, and how they interact with each other, and how they interact with these oxygen bubbles you see. And you have to observe them, and you have to experiment with them, and all of these interactions between these different elements to be able to progress. There's no stats, there's no points or anything like that. It's very pure. The, the only way you can really progress is just by understanding the world, understanding the creatures, understanding how they interact, and using that to your advantage. You really just have to understand what's going on, and it's completely left to you to figure out how to do that. With no hand-holding whatsoever. It's very, very cool. Also, even more cool is the fact that the story of what these creatures are and what they're doing just comes naturally out of the gameplay just by understanding how they interact with everything in the environment and with each other. Just by doing that, it makes you understand what they are. Oh, hello. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Get away from me. It makes you understand what they are and makes you understand the story. It makes you understand what's going on, and it's done entirely through gameplay. Through this understanding, you understand the story without a single line of dialogue or text whatsoever. Which is incredibly cool. Oh god. Almost got me. So back to what I was saying about the length of it. It's about a half hour long. And... Oh, thank god it died. It's about a half hour long. And I think the short length is absolutely perfect. There's never... You have to face waves of enemies. That was the first wave right there. Watch. Actually, you know what? Let me show you this. So if I press R to retry wave. Oh no, I can't. That's strange. I guess that wasn't the first wave. Maybe this next one is technically the first wave. You can see there's a shock down below. They've just spawned. I think there's two of them? Maybe just one. Ah, get away from me. Uh, so yes, there's these waves of enemies. And the short length is perfect. There's never a repetitive... Ow. There's never a repetitive wave. Whatsoever. You know, it'd be easy enough just to throw more and more waves at you to extend the length of the game, right? More of these creatures, another wave of these creatures, yet another wave of these creatures. Each wave, maybe there's, like, more creatures. And that's it. But no. Every wave, there's there's something new. There's some new sort of interaction going on between the creatures. Some sort of new situation. So there's never a repetitive wave. There's always some sort of new thing being introduced to you. So the length is absolutely perfect. It's short, and it's sweet. Alright, so that's mostly what I have to say about what I love about the game pretty short and sweet, because this game is short and sweet. Now, is there anything I think could be improved? Hold on. Oh god, please don't die. I don't want you to die. Oh no, I think he's might, he might die. Get air. Get some air. There we go. Okay. I actually don't want to save him, because then it's going to move on. So, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm going to leave you there a little bit longer. Uh, so, is there anything I think could be improved? Yes. And it's really just about technical things. So the first thing that's lacking in this game is any sort of an options menu. If you press escape here, you see you can just quit, retry, wave, and resume. There is no options menu. You can't control the volume of the game from within the game, or change the resolution from within the game or anything like that. There is no options menu. Which is very strange. I would have liked to have seen one, of course. 
And the other thing is that I have a little bit of a technical problem with the game in that, uh, for me, every time I try to start it up in full screen mode, it actually, like, it tries to switch resolutions. You know, it like, it tries to go full screen and my screen goes black, but then the game just minimizes. And it just, it's on the taskbar, and every time I try to click on it to bring it back up, it just does the same thing again, goes black, and then switches back to being minimized and goes back to my desktop. So I had that problem with it. And I ended up fixing it, actually, by going into the config file that's in the game's directory and setting it to windowed mode. Because that's where you can set it to windowed mode. So, I am running pre-release, a pre-release copy right now. The final release version on Steam may be different, I don't know, so I don't know if this is a common problem, I don't know if it might be fixed by the time it's released, I'm not sure. But if you do have that problem, then the fix is pretty easy, you just go into the config file and set it to windowed mode. So if you're having that problem, I'll have a little mini, oh god, I'll have a little mini guide in, uh, hold on, let's actually, oh, never mind, I can't do that, I was gonna restart. I'll have a little mini guide in the description for how to set it to windowed mode in case you are having that problem. So yes, They Breathe is example of an incredibly, impressively designed game in a really small, short and sweet package. I would highly recommend playing it without reading too much about it, lest you be spoiled about how everything works. Oh god, you just died. I feel really bad about that. Aww. Yeah, so I would avoid reading too much about it, lest you be spoiled, and I'd play it in one sitting, which you can easily do, because it's about a half hour long. So, it's available on Steam now, I'll have a link in the description. Thank you for watching.